this 26th Arab German Business Forum by GOFA. Joining me now is Samir Abdul Nath, uh, the President of the Union of Arab Chambers. Thank you so much, Mr. Nath, for joining me. Thank you very much for having, having me. Um, what would you say, listening into the panels and the discussions, what are the main challenges that we face when we talk about Arab-German partnership? Um, uh, the thing, I think the main challenge, well, I've been here to uh, visiting Gofa since 2006, and I've been here almost every year. And uh, I think uh, it's about time that the uh, Gofa uh, or the Arab world with Germany enhance their good relationship to a second level whereby investment in both countries, both countries, the Arab world and within Germany to become more toward, towards partnering rather than an opportunity market within the West. So I think uh, there are so many advantages for German industry. First of all is, is, is to penetrate the market much much bigger and a much bigger uh, scale and at the same time avoid and reduce competition yeah. from countries like China and, and, and Southeast Asia who are really aggressive into investments in, in the region in, 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 in big scale. The third uh, opportunity is that cost of production will be much cheaper. Yeah. Second energy cost is much cheaper. Third thing, it creates a, a, a comfort zone for Europe in general by reducing migration mm -hmm. from the MENA region into Europe mm -hmm. by creating healthy economies there. Mm -hmm. That it creates a, a, a positive impact politically also on the ground for Europe. Mm -hmm. So I think in the this kind of, of, of solution creates a win-win situation for everyone. Mm. And looking at that win-win situation, where do you think in which areas is the biggest scope for partnerships? I think there are so many scopes that are, we could be able you know, to, 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 to enhance. Uh, the the, the, the uh, technology, renewable energy are huge potential. As you know, the Middle East area, we are blessed with so much sun. Uh, solar energy there is a huge generator of, of and, and, and uh, harness and, and uh, harness energy, potential energy for, for um, electrical generation, electric generation to produce production and high of hydrogen and, and uh, creating a network of grid to uh, go into the next stage of, of, of uh, energy generation for Europe mm -hmm. by uh, and it's clean energy and it also uh, it falls in with the COP27 uh, programs and COP28 in Dubai mm -hmm. and also other, other regions also uh, development of, of the, uh, the, the natural resources that are available. We have a whole spectrum of the uh, of kinds of resources like metals, uh, the mining industry could be uh, developed there because uh, we have, you know, from Morocco to, to the Middle East, uh, to the Gulf countries, besides oil and gas, you could say in the chemical spectrum, metal spectrum, it's almost 90% are available in that area. But it's not been really, uh, you could say, uh, harnessed and, and, and used. Mm -hmm. yes. So there's big scope for development. Yes. Um, participating in the business forum, what's your biggest key takeaway today? Well, I think for me, I mean, this kind of conference has, has a huge benefits. Even though you don't see it, touch, you touch, don't touch it. But I, I consider this kind of conference is putting the seeds in the ground to grow the plants. So networking creates a lot of positive uh, deals and, 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 and an enhancing partnering between German companies and Arab companies. Wearing my private hat, my NAS hat, mm -hmm. my relationship with German companies goes back 
years back, you know, so uh, I work with so many general uh, German companies and enhancing, working together in the Middle East, specifically in the Gulf countries, mm -hmm. which is working very well for me. Mm -hmm. So looking at your sort of your private head uh, with NAS, um, mm. do you have any partnerships, any strategic developments that you might care to tell us about? Oh, well, I work, for example, with Liebherr. I went on, I'm one of their uh, biggest customer. I'm also a distributor of a lot of uh, uh, construction equipments in, in, in Germany, like Schwing and, uh, uh, and others. We work with B, uh, BSAF also in, in, uh, in the Gulf region. And we do a lot of partnering in the construction of the oil and gas, mm -hmm. refinery construction, and petrochemical industry in the engineering sector. Mm -hmm. So basically we do work in several angles. And also we work in the marine sector, offshore works, together with some German companies. Mm -hmm. and we work with Bauer, for example, which is uh, in the, in, in, in the uh, uh, environment and, and, and recycling business. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is, I think, uh, again, works positively with with with, uh, with the COP twenty seven objective. Objective. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, you know what you're talking about when you talk about partnerships. Then, well, yes. thank you, thank you thank for joining you. me today. Thank you.